Now we're going to not worry about this thread for a little bit. We're going to use it in a moment to finish seaming up the side of our glove, but in the meantime, we still need to work on this thumb. So let's go back to the thumb. So we're going to transfer the stitches from the stitch holder onto a needle. This is our smaller size of the needles and just slide your stitches just like you put them onto the stitch holder is the same way you're going to take them back off. So just slide them one at a time onto your needle. Once all of the stitches are on, you can discard your stitch holder. We're going to need to add a new piece of yarn. The easiest way to add a new piece of yarn is just to let the end dangle free. Hold it close in with your fingers and begin to knit. So start knitting in the stocking stitch. We'll work that other end in when we're finished, so don't worry about letting it hang free. Hold on to it though while you get all the way across this very first row. This thumb is only 14 stitches wide, so it'll go very quickly. When you get to the end of the row, you'll turn and begin doing the purl stitch across. You'll continue doing one row of knits, one row of purls in stocking stitch until the thumb piece is a total of two and a half inches long. Now your thumb piece should measure about two and a half inches long and we're ready to decrease to form the rounded tip of the thumb. So just like we worked on the top, we're going to decrease by knitting two stitches together all the way across the row. We're almost done. You've almost completed your second project. One last row of purl. As you're purling this row, you'll see that you have half as many stitches as you started with. That should give you seven. Thanks for watching. Click on the next step or replay to watch another video and please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can also visit AmericanKnitter.com to purchase the knitting DVD set.